All right, welcome to our series. This is week four of traditional tuning. Pretty excited about this. Like I've said, we're going to get into some really some more specific details as we move down the road a little bit, but I need to make sure that you're getting to a point where you're finding some consistency with your shooting, because if your groups aren't consistent, then it's going to be very difficult for us to diagnose problems even further. Today we're talking about your anchor point, uh, your draw length, and then we're going to get into that laser training device as well, which can help you diagnose some of your form issues. Anchor point, if you've read the article, for me what I do is I actually lock my pinky and my thumb and then I take my index finger and I'm going to put that right on the corner of my mouth when I draw the bow back. It's something for me that gives me two distinct spots on my face where I know I'm always in the same exact area. So the webbing of that thumb is going to sit right in my jawline when I'm at full draw. So I have one finger above, two below, that's just the way I choose to shoot. I lock my pinky and my thumb. And when I draw back, I get to a point where I can anchor and crook right in there. So now I know I'm at the same spot every time. And you can actually see my nose touches the string right there. If I take my anchor point and move it away from my face, inside of my face, or I'm further closer or higher or lower, it's going to change where my shot goes. And so it's really critical that you always have the same anchor point. That consistency is going to be the key to your success. The other thing that we talk about is your draw length. And with that, the way that you can affect it is your left arm, or if you're a left-handed shooter, your right arm, the, the amount of bend you put in it. What you want to have is a relaxed arm, but not bent. And so what you'll see the difference is I draw back and I get to my point. If I push my hand forward and lock my elbow, I just gained almost an inch of draw. If I relax it and put a little bend into it, I lose almost an inch of draw. And those extra inches can amount to almost three pounds in either direction, which has a huge impact on your arrow flight as it goes down range. So definitely make sure that you're trying to always draw consistently. You don't want to be tight, but at the same time, you don't want to be so bent that you're over relaxed and you're losing some power on that. So just a nice, relaxed, loose grip on the front and then draw back to your anchor point. And every time we want to try to make that consistent shot. Now check out the next little clip, which is going to show you the training device. Okay. So this is our laser training tool. This is going to help you really identify some of your problems um, with your shooting technique. So, um, a really awesome tool. It comes to you at a very affordable price. Uh, it's real simple to install. Basically, any stabilizer you can mount onto the front of your bow here. Um, we also have a bracket that you can get with it that you can mount it straight into a recurve bow. Um, I just put on a, a B Stinger stabilizer, something simple, mounted it right onto that with the two screws, put the laser inside, it's ready to go. The on and off switch is real simple. Just those two buttons right there. That turns it on, that turns it off. What we like to do with this is now I can turn it on and you can see I'm, I've got it down range. We can actually adjust the elevation and the windage if we need to, to make it even a sighting tool. Um, for now, I've just got it listed so I can kind of see how much I'm shaking. And the number one thing this will help you diagnose is your, your limbs and whether you have the right weight or not. Um, what I'm going to do is draw back and you'll see how much shaking I actually have. I'm a pretty comfortable shooter and yet it's hard for me to hold dead steady. Now that's a pretty decent situation. A lot of times you'll see people where they're going to draw back and they're way too heavy of a bow and the laser will start looking a lot like this. Or if you were to, not, to lock your elbow, you're going to become really, really tense and, as, and that's going to continue to shake more and more. So that's definitely a tool I recommend. That's going to help you diagnose some of your form issues. Also, if you set the point where you're actually aiming it at a certain point and you, so you raise the elevation and you change the windage to where it's actually hitting where your arrows are hitting, you're going to get a pretty good idea of whether or not your draw length is correct if you start hitting way too high or way too low consistently. That means you've changed something with your draw length. So it, it helps you diagnose a lot of problems. It's really affordable. I recommend you just get one and try it out and see what you think. So thanks for checking us out. Tune in next week for week five. We should have some really fun stuff for you. Thanks again.